Hey, what's up everybody? It is DJ Jerry here with Shop Time, and I am excited to show a video on something that I have been anticipating, something that I've been waiting for, something that is going to take my level of audio to the next step. And uh, this is the Electra Voice Evolve 50, and it is a calm speaker. It's got a sub down below. I'm actually gonna walk you through everything on this speaker in this system and show you exactly how it works, how it sounds, and we're also gonna test it out a little bit. Uh, one of the things that I always had problems with on my Bose columns is anytime I would go to hype the crowd on the microphone, it started almost peaking or it started clipping and I just didn't get the full capacity of what I needed for my audio uh, while trying to hype a crowd. So I'm gonna test that here. We're gonna see exactly if that works, how it works, and uh, we're just gonna give it a whirl here. So follow me through this. A uh, couple things that I like about the Evolve 50 um, I've already kind of looked at it a little bit here, so I kind of have an idea of what it does. So I want to share it all with you. The first thing is this tall, this uh, column piece. This column piece actually, I'm going to flip my cam here. This column piece actually allows you to just take this thing off one-handed. It's very lightweight. You don't have to worry about, uh, one of the things that I had to worry about with my bows is I needed to push some buttons in to actually release the tower off. So this is nice, uh, you can just push the piece off, put it back on. Also the handle allows you, if you need to use two hands, you can you easily grip it with two hands, um, but it is very light, uh, I would say probably about 15 pounds. Uh, you have the entire top column of your speaker right here, all of your highs are gonna be right here. Now this piece here, this is kind of the, uh, the power bar uh, that basically clips in, and if you look at this, there's actually that silver piece, that's a magnet, and then they have all the connections right there. Now, the cool thing is, I was testing this, you can't actually get this thing upside down. Um, it really only goes, uh, it faces forward. Uh, you really can't mess that up, so it's really easy to put together. Like I said, you can flip it either way, and the unit still works great. The connections connect no matter if it's uh, you know, going into the top or if it's going into the bottom. So we're gonna put this piece back on. And now I'm actually going to show you uh, some of the ins and outs of the sub, as well as uh, some of the DSP. The DSP is a huge advantage for us as DJs uh, or live uh, acoustic players, coffee house players, bands, whatever it is. The uh, DSP allows you to do a lot of the controlling right inside of the module or right inside of the speaker itself and is actually allowing us to cut back on the need for uh, mixers if we're doing a small uh, small sound setup. So I'm gonna walk you through this again, this tower, very simple, very easy, it's very sleek, very clean, and uh, you know what, let's explore the rest of this thing. As I mentioned before, the sub uh, is actually uh, right there in the unit. So this power bar that I was talking about, this power bar actually goes all the way up, and that's where your tower piece connects in. So the power bar is a nice feature, it's nice and solid. Um, one thing I love about this is, I don't know, some of the other columns, they have the, uh, the speaker cord actually connecting from down below, and then you see this cable actually running up and plugging into the back there. So all the audio actually goes through this unit uh, and gets you a beautiful crisp audio uh, without the ugly cable that's hanging around there. So if you look at the unit here, uh, the sub, as you can see, has the same uh, pill grill that uh, most of their features uh, in their ETX, their EKX, and uh, just that nice clean look. I like the edges. The other thing too is this, this slanted piece. Um, it's nice so that way if you have people uh, that are putting drinks down, they can't really put their drink down on this. Uh, it's got a nice slant to it, hopefully uh, advising people not to put their drinks down on top of this unit. Uh, that was another thing that we had with uh, problems with our bows. Uh, another nice thing is it has side handles on both sides. It also has this top handle, uh, and the, the piece is probably about 35 pounds, but you have to understand this has the amp, it has your DSP, it has your mixer, it has everything. It's all right here in this unit, and again, the piece connects all the way up to the top. So uh, again, a really nice, uh, well put together idea. Instead of trying to hide your subs, uh, we always had our bow subs kind of just sat out. We didn't really have a good place for them. Um, you know, trying to put them underneath the table or trying to hide them, uh, but really this whole unit gets it all put together really well. So down here you've got your, obviously, your power on, power off, your power cable, and then here's your vented amplifier. Um, now here's your DSP, and this is the, <clears throat> excuse me, this is the area that 
is really the brains of what goes on in this unit, in this system. Um, but let's go over the, the knobs and everything here. First, you have a volume knob. Uh, and one of the features that I noticed is when you're turning this, I'll zoom in here. If you turn this, you can't accidentally turn the volume up. Uh, so if you're, say you're an acoustic guitar player and you're moving around, your cable accidentally rubs on this, uh, it's not gonna turn your volume up by accident for you. So you actually have to push the button and then turn, then you can actually turn up the volume uh, over the entire unit by raising the dBs right there. But we're gonna go into the, we're gonna go into the, uh, the DSP module itself and go over some of the modes. Uh, just like the ETX and EKX uh, and some of the new features that they have in some of their other speakers, these units, oh, I'm sorry, these, uh, these, excuse me, these menus allow you to kind of create some different acoustics uh, and, and adjust the EQs so that way when you're using music, um, it's kind of think it's kind of incorporating the uh, the regular music you have live um, you also have speech so uh, it's kind of adjusting all of the EQs so it balances out correctly and gives you a nice clean audio it's one thing I always liked about the other series that they had as well uh, sub level <clears throat> excuse me sub level is kind of the overall subunit itself um, you'll notice. Uh, the they have a treble, a mid, and a bass, and that actually is kind of the EQ uh, where you can actually turn up the treble. You can turn that up by the dBs, and then in the mid frequencies, you can actually decide. Excuse me, there we go. You can actually decide what frequency uh, level you want to uh, make the adjustments on. So it allows you to uh, basically go by point ones to make the adjustment on that. Uh, but you really don't have to mess too much with that. Again, that's kind of the whole point of this section right here is the mode, uh, having it in music mode and so on. Uh, the other nice thing about this is it does have, you'll see it says Phantom 1 and Phantom 2. Now, since the mixer is basically built in right here, um, you can actually put a wired mic directly into input 1 and input 2. And depending if you need to use Phantom or not, uh, that is why they built that feature in. So you can actually turn off and on phantom power if need be. Now mix out, I'm gonna go a little bit into this, uh, tell you, uh, you know, how this functions. Uh, I'm, actually, I'm actually going to create another video that is specifically on the mix out and how it works. But just to kind of give you an idea, you'll notice here uh, on the board, you'll notice you have a mix out and you also have your through, you have input one, input two, there we go, input two, and then you have input three which does a couple things. Um, and I'm gonna talk about those here in a second, but regarding mix out, I'm gonna go back in here. Regarding mix out, you'll see it says R, and then you'll also see it says L plus R. And basically what's happening is when you're running something in stereo, now when you're running uh, something in through XLR, this is going to be either a left and a right, um, or you can go left and right stereo through the RCA jacks. You can go stereo through the eighth inch. And also check out this feature. You can also stream Bluetooth to this unit and control it right here. So an amazing feature that I think is gonna be very valuable. Um, there's also a Bluetooth out, which I'm going to explain to you after a little bit here as well. But within the mix out, the reason you have L plus R and R, basically if you wanna run these in mono, um, so it's balanced all the way through, what you do is you actually just leave it in L plus R because what's gonna happen is now this out right here where it says mix out, wherever you have that going to. So I actually have another one of these on the other side, but what I'm doing is I'm actually sending the left and right signal. So almost a, basically a mono signal, I'm sending uh, both of those signals left and right to the other speaker through this mix out. Now, if I had it just as an R, you can see that there, if I have it just R, now this speaker is becoming left, and now the mix out is only sending the right signal, it's sending the signal from the right channel. Uh, so again, those are some of the features that I think are, are pretty cool. I, I think it's a new feature that they've uh, incorporated. Uh, if it's not, then I guess I didn't do my homework, but I love that fact that you can actually uh, separate it or you can just combine the left and right channels and send that mix. Uh, the next part is the uh, the delays. 
And this is something that I love about my ETX is the delay options. Now, think about having your speaker system, having a stage and you're playing audio, but then also you're gonna need fills. Maybe you need side fills, or maybe you have a satellite speaker that's out in a hallway. Well, with the delays, you can actually go ahead and create a sound delay. So uh, measuring out your feet per second, you'll know exactly, actually I think it's in meters right now. Yep, so right now it's in meters, but you can figure out exactly what that distance is, and then you can create the delay so the audio doesn't basically create this kickback. Uh, it's just a nice clean audio from the stage all the way to this uh, this tower, which is basically going to be your satellite or your uh, your fill speaker. So, uh, really cool feature there. The LED, basically, that is uh, if you want the uh, the light on on the front. <laughs> kind of a neat thing is they have it in white and they have it in blue, or you can just turn it off. So kind of a neat little uh, feature if you like the LED, if you don't like the LED. Display, if you click into here, it's actually gonna get you a little bit deeper on what you want this panel right here to do. So you have your dimming, how long is it gonna take for it to dim? When it does dim, how dim does it get? And then also the overall brightness and the contrast ratio. So uh, very simple. And then also any of those presets that you create. So if you created an EQ uh, using the, the DB levels and the treble or the bass, uh, or the mids, you can actually store that and save it, and then you can actually recall that. So if you have a specific venue that you're working in that, are, that you have it kind of toned in or, or honed in really well, you can actually recall that and bring that back. Now, Bluetooth control, this is, uh, again, this is a feature that uh, the app is not technically released yet, so I don't have a lot of information on this, but from what I understand is um, you can actually set up a Bluetooth uh, signal that will talk back to either your phone or an iPad, whatever can control Bluetooth, um, you can actually send signal back to it to an app that will tell you if you're having any clipping issues or if the system's running hot. Uh, it allows you just to kind of monitor your system uh, and keep it safe. So a cool feature with that. Bluetooth audio, uh, again, you can actually go into uh, some of the other videos that I'm gonna create here and you can check out this Bluetooth audio section but you can actually stream from your phone and connect into the Bluetooth uh, using the, uh, the system here. It's amazing, I've already played with it, uh, and wait till you see the video, it's pretty, it's pretty stellar. And then reset if you wanna go back to factory, and then obviously going back into the main. So that is, uh, that's basically it. Like I said, I really love this unit. Uh, I, I grabbed two of them, I've got uh, this one here, I've got one on the other side, <clears throat> and basically I went from the mix out I'm going into input one and I just set it at zero. And you can see, I like how they also labeled these where you've got uh, on the left side, you've got lines. So if you're running a hot feed or if you have a, uh, a mic, whoop, if you got a mic that you, uh, that you crank up, uh, you can actually go above zero to, uh, to kind of hit the levels that you need with that. So uh, the, uh, the features of this, I, I'm very impressed with. Like I said, I love the fact that you can do the Bluetooth I love the fact that you can actually do uh, the RCAs and the eighth inch. Um, thing is, you know, when, when I look at, uh, let me see if I can flip my camera around here. Uh, when I look at the technology and where things are going, uh, you look at the iPhones, the new iPhones, they're getting rid of the headphone jacks. Everything's going Bluetooth. I have the Moto Z, has gotten rid of the headphone jack. So now I have to stream everything through Bluetooth. Uh, so again, think about the technology that's changing and the fact that Electro Voice put the time and the effort to think about Bluetooth technology going into these systems for us. It makes it easier so we can do ceremonies, we can do uh, live sound, uh, just a little bit easier if uh, you know we're doing front of house, the band's done, now we can stream our live audio going through Bluetooth. So, hey, you know what? Let's fire this thing up. I want you to listen to it. We're also gonna test it out, make sure that when I'm hyping crowd, I've got my microphone, that it's not gonna clip, it's not gonna cut out on me. So, we'll see what happens. All right, guys, it's gonna get loud, so hang in there. And uh, I hope you guys, I uh, hope you can hear some of the dynamic changes and how this, uh, how this system works. Right now, all I'm doing is I am running, I've got an eighth inch jack going into an RCA cable. Uh, I'm sorry, going into an XLR into input. So technically I'm setting a mono signal, which is how I have the setting set in here. So that way it's actually sending left and right and left and right. It's sending both signals uh, according to how I have this thing plugged in. So uh, I've got it going through the mix out, going to the next speaker and uh, 
let's check it out. Electro Voice Evolve 50, and uh, if you turn that around, that is EV Love right there, and I do love these things. These are nice. For me, aesthetics is very important. Um, it's important for me when I'm working with a high-end client who wants things to blend in, look really sharp, look nice. They don't want to have big, bulky speakers. So you know what? This is a beautiful touch. I love the fact that it came out with a, volume, a nice column that has great volume, great performance, and uh, you know what? Anybody can lift this thing. Uh, it's, it's perfect for our industry, and uh, I'm loving it. If you have questions, feel free to message me. You can always message me at jeremy at djjrshoptime.com. Better yet, share this video to people who you think could use something like this, because this is going to change our industry. Message down below uh, in YouTube here, and just uh, ask those questions. I'll be happy to do any more videos for you if you want to see more details on this speaker. Uh, so again, thanks for watching. This is DJ Jerry with Shop Time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.